there it is, one million dollars. <clears throat> Stay in a bus. Now, dear, if we should see Mr. Clampett, you know what to do. Oh, thank goodness we brought your tap shoes. <laughs> Watch me for tempo and remember the signals. <laughs> now, this is a cartwheel and this is a backflip. Oh, my baby's going to be the new Shirley Temple. <laughs> There's a whole bus full of people coming up the driveway. What do you reckon they want? Well, I don't know. Unless they've seen your picture in a paper and want you to doctor them. <laughs> well, I hope not. <laughs> Morning, folks. Y'all here to see Dr. Clampett? <laughs> hey, that's you. Your picture's in the newspaper. You've got to see my little girl. Bring me right uh, Ma'am, uh, Monsieur, I ain't really a doctor. I can't. I mean... Open this door! Let me go! Take it easy, will you, lady? I want him to see my Beverly now. Open this door! Gee, I'm sorry about this. I'll get him out of here right away. Well, maybe you best let that woman off. She's about to bust the door. <laughs> okay, thanks. He's standing here, right. my Beverly. He's got to see that Stand child. Stand back, please. Stand back. Might calm her some just to let her tell us her trouble. <laughs> sure hope Granny hurries back. This is just so wonderful of you, Mr. Clampett. Dr. Clampett. Maybe, please. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, maybe you'd like to step inside where you can sit down and tell me about your little girl. Did you hear that, Beverly? Isn't he a nice man? <laughs> but we love you. <laughs> just step inside. <laughs> huh? They don't look like there's nothing bad wrong with that little girl. I hope not, but you never know. <laughs> Nervous little thing, ain't she? Don't you think she's got something? Well, uh, I don't think it's nothing to get excited about. Wait. You haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> Please, ma'am, not all the way. Sorry, is wearing fancy underwear. Well, she usually wears her best when you come to see the doctor. Now, show what you've really got, Beverly. <laughs> ma'am, uh, please, ma'am, uh, control yourself. That little girl's gonna be all right. Oh, Beverly, did, did, did you hear that? Oh, I've taken her every place, and you're the first one that showed us any encouragement. <laughs> Isn't he a nice man? <laughs> Yes, we love you. We love you, too. How soon do you think you can cast her? Cast her? Oh, well, uh, that'll be up to Granny. She might want to try a couple of other things first before she puts her in a cast. <laughs> My Beverly's ready for anything. Well, you come back in a couple of hours, and Granny will probably be here by then. Oh, bless you. Come along, Beverly. <laughs> oh, ma'am, uh, don't you want to put her clothes on? Well, oh, I can do that on the bus. I just can't wait to tell everyone at the Hollywood Vaudeville Club what you're doing for Beverly. Oh, they all call her Little Tappy Toe. Clamp it. Oh, no, wait. I'll help you, Jed. I'll save the little girl. Don't let that squirrely TV doctor get his hands on her. Worst case of nervous flip-flops I ever did see. <laughs> oh, you pretty little darling. Don't you worry, Granny's here. Granny's gonna help you. Oh, thank you, Granny. Glad to do it. Come on in here. <laughs> no. I better take her upstairs to my room. <laughs> oh, there are some others outside from the Hollywood Vaudeville Club. May I tell them to come in? Have them come in and wait. I'll get to them as quick as a kid. <laughs> come on in, everybody! ...become the label's most successful white artist. But before Tina sped into Motor City, she made a pit stop in Beverly Hills. I was on the Beverly Hillbillies when I was eight years old. Isn't he a nice man? <laughs> I played a little girl who whose mother was really pushy and was bringing her to Jed because he was rich. 
nervous little thing, ain't she? Don't you think she's got something? Well, uh, she I thought that he could help her get into the entertainment business. You haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> Please, ma'am, not all the way. Sure is wearing fancy underwear. Well, she usually wears her best when you come to see the doctor. Now, show what you really, Beverly. Control yourself.